commentate. Let's go. Boom. Continuing on our doubles bracket, DFW Messiah. You spelled Messiah wrong. It's it's an E. M E S S I H. M E S S I H. Typo. I know your name is Typo, but still. But Messiah and Coolex versus uh, L A S Soto and Jimmy Joe. Okay, so. Jim and Joe, you know, for blessing the mic earlier. <laughs> and Messiah is actually the person that we hung out with, and he showed me the fight stick, which is, so big shout out to this guy. Uh, let's get into this next one, though. We have a Kirby, a piece, a Pikachu, and a Captain Falcon. So yeah. what are some things that we can expect from this uh, from this set? Honestly, I'm surprised from this team. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Blue Team making a character switch relatively soon, but we're seeing some really solid play right now from Messiah. No, why? Ooh. Yeah, that was a bit of an error from Jimmy Joe. Maybe an opportunity here for Blue Team to get up ahead, but you already saw Jimmy Joe very good with his understanding of when he needs to help his teammate. He just came in there, had his presence there, made it so uh, Messiah was a little bit uh, anxious on capitalizing, decided to think twice. Correct, and I mean, that's, that's something that we also want to make sure we highlight. It, just because a team necessarily has the most talent doesn't necessarily mean they have the best chemistry and that they will necessarily win. Mm -hmm. So it comes down to that ability to be able to know when your teammate needs help, when you can create those sandwich opportunities, and when you know when to press your advantage or to just be re uh, reactive. You know, Blue Team doing a really good job so far. They're up a stock, and they might be able to take another one here from Jimmy Joe. Look, he's at 123%. That fantastic persistence, Ooh. keeping up to these high percentages, and especially in a game as... You! The oh pickup by God. Messiah! So and solid. <laughs> that was so great and the mm. thought that I was finishing was as in a game so volatile just like this game anything can happen in a blink of an eye indeed and we're seeing that right now maybe another opportunity oh but you're seeing some good patience actually from Coolex Coolex he's not really known for that Captain Falcon but he's making it work right now oh, oh but that's another thing we need to consider is a little bit of friendly fire that's going on from the blue team specifically oh, from Messiah yes. that was fantastic he yeah. used that up B and as the hitbox is coming downwards you can use that as I believe a spike yeah it is a spike and finishes off we don't got there. meteors in this we don't got none of that. We don't know meteors. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't the Cretaceous. No meteors, son. Mm -mm. Okay. Shout out to the science nerds that got that one. <laughs> Yo, Jurassic World? Let's go. No, seriously, can we go like after this? Oh, yeah, that'd be really nice. Hype. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> getting back into the match. Nice pickup from Soto. Very good awareness with that spike. Just barely touches him. That's all you really need to do. So I want to talk a little bit about the, the mentality that comes into teams and why you would pick Captain Falcon in this kind of a team setup. You have Kirby, who has a great amount of recovery there, and you have Falcon, who has a ton of kill option and kill potential um, and great uh, ability to cover the stage itself. Yeah. Uh, he's good. I, he believe, I believe he has the fastest dash speed in the game, which means that he can get from place to place very quickly. Oh, a bit of friendly fire once again, though, from Messiah is really costing the blue team. They had the lead, but all of a sudden, the momentum just feels like it's in the red team's favor. It definitely is. That is stock that is extra that is being held right oh, now. No! Oh, no! Okay, so right there, I think Messiah was trying to set up for a, a tilt, but what ended up happening was that Wispy pushed him off and made it so that he couldn't capitalize on the opportunity that was presented. He's trying to go in deep, trying to pick up Soto, and he does so, but doesn't have is. enough jumps. No, no, he ends up killing himself in the process. It's Coolex against the world. Oh, this is going to be incredible. You have one stock, you have to take out four. This is going to be, if, if he makes this, uh, this is comeback material. This is GR Smash, better be watching material. No, man, it's really hard. The one thing that he has going for him is the fact that Captain Falcon has that touch of death on Pikachu. And uh, I'm pretty sure that Coolex is better at dealing with Pikachu than I am, because I hate dealing with Pikachu. Kirby, on the other hand, one of Falcon's demons. Falcon, lackluster recovery, and what He's does done. Kirby capitalize on? Edge guarding and getting some stylish kills like that. Yes. Well played by Soto and Jimmy Joe, taking game one with the comeback. That was fantastic. Fantastic, and it, because of the choice character selection there, you saw that very uh, that gap between the two of them just broaden that much mm -hmm. more. You had two characters between Kirby and Pikachu who have fantastic recoveries in this game. We, whether it's multiple hops or the ability to change direction when you zip, there's so many great ways for you to get back on. The ability once you sacrifice that recovery, you now have really changed the meta of your team significantly. Mm. With a care with a stage change here, looks like they're going to be going to Hyrule Castle. Interesting. One thing worth noting is the fact that since Falcon is so quick, he can cover the stage incre insanely quick, quicker than both all the characters on this stage. Which means that what he can do is if he isolates one of the characters and throws them off the stage, he can use that quick speed to have an extended sandwich on the remaining red team member that is on the stage. That makes perfect sense. I feel like this is a great stage selection. You're yeah. absolutely right. With that being said, Pikachu and Kirby, they can have a lot of uh, a lot of solid uh, camping abilities on this stage as well because of the sheer size. So they have to be very careful. And on top of that, Kirby really capitalizes whenever Falcons aren't careful, careful with their approaches because you can play Kirby similar to like a counter puncher style yeah. and you'll have a bad time if you're Captain Falcon. So what Coolex really needs to do is he needs to use that quick speed to get in, close the distance as fast as he can, but at the same time he has to be very cautious with his approaches. 
like the team combos that we're seeing from Blue. The ability to go from the, those dares with Kirby and those up airs from Captain Falcon. Potentially, there's a lot of damage potential between two of them. And I feel like Kirby as a whole, as a character, is absolutely fantastic. And very good if you're trying to pick up this game for the first time. Yeah, honestly, I'll be, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't really agree with the stage change. Uh, I feel like they were way better suited on Dreamland, uh, especially because Falcon, if he can grab Pikachu on Dreamland in particular, it's a lot easier to get some of those tasty, tasty zero to deaths. Right now, Red Team doing a solid job of staying alive. You see that they're retaining all of their stocks right now, and You're this is what I was right. telling you about with the counter pick. It's going to be a lot harder for the blue team to get those capitalizations unless they do things like this, where they cover everyone in the same area, and that was very smart. He ends up w reaching out there so that Kulex can get the latch so he can have an additional upbeat to make the recovery. That was fantastic job. Coming back on with great awareness. A little bit more team attacks, though. Oh, he had excellent spacing. He spaced himself in a way to bait out the forward smash from Soto. He just wasn't ready to capitalize. That's going to be the stock. He's going to be heading off the top left. And there's another one for Blue. Blue is really needs to see if they can pick it up here. Right now, there's solid two stocks down behind Red. Um, but I, I got to say, so far, I feel like the mentality Red has been keeping has been pretty good. Oh, off the top? No, not just yet. This is definitely within the blue team's grasp. They need some good combos, and you're seeing right now Kulex starting to open up uh, Jimmy Joe just a bit. Oh, try to hit him with the back air, but instead gets clipped by the back air from Soto. Now, for folks that might be tuning in for the first time, um, can you talk a little bit about SDI or a lack thereof in this game? Smash DI is super present in this game. It's right. more present, I think, than in other games. Uh, and that's the only kind of DI there really is. Anytime a player gets hit, the way that they can escape some of those zero to deaths is by having superior Smash DI. They need to be smashing their sticks dependent on how the move is coming in, right? So let's say that we're going to be seeing, say, a forward air from Jimmy Joe on Kulix. What Kulix needs to do is he needs to smash inwards if the forward air is moving forwards. But if it's a spurt staying in place or retreating forward air, he needs to smash backwards. Unfortunate there, but you're seeing great team's awareness. He's sitting up for the latch. Beautiful stuff, but I don't know if he's going to be able to make the back no, regardless. He's done. Yeah, maybe if he had done it a little bit lower, whenever they were closer to the stage, he would have been able to make that happen. But instead, we see a pickup from the red team, which puts the blue team once again at a two-stock deficit. Those up tilts from Kirby, absolutely great. And he had almost had that tech chase opportunity, reading that roll to the right. Good back here. Oh, Falcon Punch back onto the stage, using that momentum. That's going to be the headbutt to send him to his grave. And oh, he tried to save him once again, but he was just a little bit too far. Soto in a great position, oh. but unfortunate. A bit of miscommunication means that they're going to be losing a stock, but Blue Team on their last limbs here. I don't know if they're going to be able to bring this back. This is going to be incredibly hard, mm -hmm. but anything is possible in this game. Yeah. Honestly, for them to bring this back, they have two options. They can play the super close game, stay in the tent, and retain as much damage as they possibly can, or they can play a more spaced out game, try to change this into a singles round or like four player singles essentially right yeah correct uh, oh no i just so don't know how that would work out to be honest i feel like kulex he doesn't often play captain falcon his captain falcon is no slouch but he's more known for his fox and for his jigglypuff so i don't know how he do especially if he's going to be paired up against soto as we're seeing now how okay fantastic so he's going to be able to get back on mm, that was a backer opportunity for kulex oh and that actually ended up uh, saving Messiah, that neutral air. Saved uh, his teammate as well, though. So good awareness by Jimmy Joe. Oh, setting up for a uh, falling narrow back here. Team Red is trying to see if they can get some sort of stage presence. But camping the tent. Mm -hmm. Very smart by Soto. He knows that he can't get clipped by that back here if he spaces it correctly and stays a little bit behind the tent. Jimmy Joe just barely missing the sweet spot. This could be the start of a comeback if... Whoa, look at this. I don't know. I mean, the percent is incredibly high. They need to get to Isaiah's tent if they want to retain these stocks. An opportunity nope, for Jimmy it. Joe. Great capitalization. And just like that, Kulex against the world once again. You can see a little bit of disrespect. He's having some fun. Back here? No, not going to get it. The only way that this can really happen, honestly, I feel like the way that this can happen is if they can take out Jimmy Joe immediately. They can take out Jimmy Joe, make it a one-stock game, and then in that brief time apart, yeah. he can use his quick dash speed to capitalize on uh, Soto, but it's not going to happen. Some disrespect once, <laughs> attempted disrespect once again. And Soto and Jimmy Joe take it 2-0 over Team DFW. Man, what a fantastic set. But it really goes to show that you can, you really need to be mindful at character select mm -hmm. and understand exactly what you're getting yourself into.